Hello everyone, my name is Hydro and today I'm walking you guys through how to install Forest of San Andreas to your GTA 5. Before we get started, if you guys haven't already, then make sure you consider like, comment and subscribing to my channel just to help me out and to make me want to upload more videos. And if you guys want to join my Discord and get just a little bit more involved in my community and maybe you want to talk to me directly and maybe you want to suggest me some video ideas for me to do in the future, and maybe you just need some help with LSPDFR in general that maybe I can't reply to in a comment for. Make sure you join my Discord. There's gonna there's a great help team there at the moment. And maybe if you guys want to help yourself, then you can join my Discord as well. There's a short little application that you guys have to do. It's very easy, very simple. You just do that and you're straight away in the help team as long as you meet the requirements. And trust me, the requirements aren't that difficult. So if you guys are looking to join an active community for Discord, then make sure you join my Discord down in the description below. And make sure you can consider like, comment and subscribing to my channel for many more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and now we'll carry on with the video. As always, the first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link in the description below. That's going to bring you right here to the Forest of San Andreas map add-on. If you guys don't know what this is, as you guys can probably tell, it is a map add-on which adds a forest to San Andreas. As you guys can see here by the photos, it just adds a lot more realism to the game it just makes the game a whole lot more different trust me on that one your entire experience in the game will be completely changed with this map as you guys can see here the map looks completely different and it looks so much nicer especially when you're driving around and things like that it just makes a real real change so i 100 percent recommend installing this mod so the first thing you guys want to do is click download here click download again it won't take very long it's only a 40 megabyte download Open that on up. And now it is finished. Double click on Forest of San Andreas. Double click on Trees. Here you guys will be able to see you have three different choices. Red work, mixed, and whatever the hell that says. I don't really know because I can't pronounce it. And I don't want to get bullied in the comments. But I'm sure I will for not being able to pronounce it anyway. So I generally go for mixed. And then I generally go for RRC. Basically, it just chooses wherever the type of trees are in the certain parts of the forest. So wherever these type of trees are in the south. And wherever these type of trees are also in the south. I generally go for this one as I prefer the as I prefer the redwood trees to most of the other trees. So double click on the one you want. As you guys can see here you have your forest folder where it says dlc.rpf. That's the folder we're going to be dragging into your OpenIV. Go down to your OpenIV. Open it on up. Select Windows, let that start up. And then when that is done, go to Mods, then Update, X64, and DLC Packs. Grab your Forest folder, make sure you're in Edit Mode, otherwise it won't let you do that. Grab your Forest folder and drag and drop. As you guys probably saw, that I already did have the Forest folder installed. Just for the sake of this video, I am reinstalling it again for you guys. So now you've done that. The last thing you guys want to do is go back to your mods folder, go to update, then update your RPF, and then common, and then data, and then go right down to the bottom. Make sure in edit mode again. Right, right click on DLC list, and then edit. Go right down to the bottom. It's just easier to do it this way. Control and copy the newest DLC list you have, and control. And V, delete the bit in the middle of the two brackets, and just put forest, and then you can close out and save. And now you guys have successfully installed a Forest of San Andreas mod to GTA 5. Hope you guys found this video useful. If so, make sure to comment down below how you found it useful. You can even comment down below how you didn't find it useful, and maybe I can help you. If you guys haven't already joined the Discord, make sure you do so. The link will be in the description below for that as well. Maybe you guys want to join a help team and help some people out with LSPDFR. If you guys want to do that, make sure you join my team. There's a short little application you guys have to fill out. It's not very difficult as long as you are meeting the requirements. And trust me, there isn't a lot of requirements. Basically, the main requirement is being over the age of like 12 and being competent with the LSPDFR mods. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you click the link down in the description below. Other than that, I'll leave you guys in peace and I'll see you guys in the next LSPDFR or Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial video.